Good day everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Super Mario Celebration Monopoly. We'll go ahead and start with all of the components. In the middle of the board here you have coins and I just placed them here. An each player is going to be receiving 10 coins, one five and then five of the ones. And the object of the game is to be the last player standing and not to go bankrupt. You have community chess cards over here and you're going to be picking these up anytime you land on a community chess card space which is here, 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 and there. You also have a standard six-sided die that you're going to be rolling to move. And right here is the question block. Anytime you land on the question block space, which are over here, you're going to press the button. And whatever noise you receive, you're simply going to go ahead and follow these instructions over here. We also have a number of tokens that you can choose from in the game from Super Mario. We have the Toadstool. We have the Leaf. We have a Yoshi Egg. We have the Star. We've got a Koopa Shell. And then you have the flower. And in the beginning of the game, you're going to go ahead and choose a token and place it here on the go space. Now, throughout the game, there are what are called properties. And you're going to be uh, purchasing properties, uh, at times going to be selling properties, even trading properties. And uh, here's a typical property card over here. And here's a typical property card over here. And I'll go over how these work. Uh, but the cards have listed the rent value that someone is going to pay anytime they land on it if you own it. If you own the entire color set, which would mean two of the colors from the set they're going to pay that much in rent now you're also going to be allowed to buy toad houses and princess castles uh, which represent the houses and hotels anytime you own the entire color set now there are also two utilities in this game in this case it is these two cards if you own one of these cards and someone lands on it they're going to pay you the amount that is shown on the die that they roll. So if they roll the six, they would pay you six coins. If you own both of these, they're going to end up paying you double. So if they ended up rolling a six, in this case, they would pay you 12 coins. Some of the other spaces on the board, we've got the piranha plant. You'll end up paying two to the bank if you land on that. We've got the question block space, the community chess space. You'll simply pick one of these up anytime you land on a community chess space. And there's several different ones. Here's one that says collect one coin. Here's another one that says collect one coin. And here's one that sends you to jail, which is not a good card necessarily. And here's a get out of jail free card. You'll also be able to trade this card with somebody if you would like to. And this will get you out of jail for free. This is the jail space. Just visiting, you'll land on this. Uh, if you land on the go to jail space, you will end up going to jail, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Free parking, nothing will happen if you land on that. Then we have the chain chomp. If you land on that, you will end up paying two coins. Now, anytime you pass go, you're going to collect two coins. Now, you're in the beginning, everyone's going to roll the die, and whoever has the highest roll is going to move first, and it'll move to the left. So let's just say I happen to roll a five, and I move one, two, three, four, five, and I've landed on Yoshi's Island. Now, if it is unknown, I can go ahead and purchase it for this purchase price. So let's just go ahead and say I pay one coin, and I will go ahead and take control of Yoshi's Island, and I'll just simply put it in front of me. If I decide not to buy it, then it is going to go up for auction. So everyone's going to be bidding on it with a minimum amount of one coin, and whoever wins the auction will be able to go ahead and purchase this. If nobody is interested in it, then you will just simply leave the property with the bank. Let's say this player moves, and he ends up landing on my property. I'll look and see how much he owes me in rent. In this case, he would owe me one coin. So the player would go ahead and pay me the one coin, and then that would be it. Now, if it turned out he did not have enough money uh, to pay me, then what he's going to have to do is he's going to have to sell back any of these toad houses or castles at half the value and raise the money that way, or he can try to mortgage his properties. Now, on the back of the card, there's going to be what's called a mortgage value. Uh, if you want to try to raise money, you can simply turn this card over and then you will receive this amount that is on the mortgage value. However, if somebody ends up landing on this property that is mortgaged, you're not going to collect anything. Uh, if you want to unmortgage the property, you will just simply go ahead and pay this amount to the bank and then flip it back over. If it turns out that he is not able to pay me the money that he owes me, he is going to go bankrupt and he is going to be out of the game. Now, if it turned out that I own both of the properties in the color set, I will be able to build the toad houses and the castles. So uh, in this case, let's just say I decided I was going to go ahead and purchase two of these homes. Um, I would have to pay one each. So in this case, let's just say I pay two and I'm going to have to build evenly in this version. So I would put one here and then I would put one here. And if a player were to land on this right now, they would end up owing me three coins if they landed on the Forest of Illusion. Now, once I end up building four of the toad houses, on my property, I'll be able to go ahead and purchase the castle. And all I'll just simply do is just replace all four of the toad houses and then place the castle in place of it. So let's just say I had four over here, I would just do that. 
and then the rent value will be jacked up all the way to here. Now, if I end up landing on the question block, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button over here and you're going to hear a sound. So there's uh, several different types of sounds. You have the coin pings and if you hit that, you'll receive one coin from the bank for each ping that you hear. If you hear Bowser's laugh, you're going to end up paying the bank five coins. If you hear the power up ring, uh, you'll roll the die and move again and just simply follow the rules of the space where you land. And if you hear the game over tune, then you're going to end up paying the bank a whopping 10 coins. You're also going to be able to deal in trade properties. So let's just say I had the Forest of Illusion and somebody else had Yoshi's Island. I'll be able to try to negotiate a trade and I can do that with coins or other properties or the get out of jail free card. I won't be able to do it with buildings. I have a whole color set and somebody wants to trade me. Uh, for the color set or a property in the color set. I'm going to have to sell back all the buildings on that color set. Turns out that the property is mortgaged. Uh, the player who buys the mortgage property can unmortgage it at any time. There's the jail space. If you land on that, you will send your player directly to jail. Uh, there's a few ways you can get out. One, you can go ahead and pay five coins to the bank, roll the die and get out that way. Or you can try to roll a six on your next three turns. Uh, if you end up doing that, you will get out of jail for free and you'll move the six. Uh, if at the end of the third turn you don't roll a six, you'll go ahead and pay the five coins of the bank and move out that way. And of course, if you have the get out of jail free card, you can just simply play it and get out of jail after rolling the die. Now, if you end up going bankrupt, a couple of things. If you end up going bankrupt because you have to owe the bank something, you'll go ahead and return all the properties to the bank. You'll auction off those properties and then you'll return the get out of jail free card to the bottom of the deck. If it turns out to be a player, then you're going to give him all of your properties and your get out of jail free card. And the winner of the game is going to be the one person that does not go bankrupt and is the last player standing. And that, folks, is Super Mario Celebration at Monopoly.